This isn't venom. It's punishment. On your senses. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Venom, a film that has received a lot of negative flack ever since its premiere, and least to say, it does deserve a bit of it, not so much in certain areas. The film does have issues, it does have a lot of problems, a lot of narrative issues, character issues, but the film does have some good parts in it, some shining moments, and some rewatchability even. The film is about Eddie Brock, played by Tom Hardy, who's doing his best version of being an American, which apparently has this kind of, oh, hey, Mrs. Chow, and this kind of lumbered look. In the film, he's actually an investigative reporter. He's not this douchebag character that Topher Grace kind of gave. He's actually somewhat of a rebellious character. Unfortunately, his character really never changes throughout the film. It's just Tom Hardy kind of being crazy throughout the movie. So there's a little bit of a disappointment with that. However, the relationship between him and the symbiote, mind you, they also changed that in that trailer. They were getting people all pissed off by saying symbiote. Then they got the word actually symbiote, which is I don't even know why that shit was happening. But the relationship between Venom and Tom Hardy is actually really good. In fact, it's actually really funny. There's a lot of really good banter between the two. And for a person basically having an argument with voices inside their head, the humor from this is dark. It's a very dark humor. In fact, the movie has actually got a lot of dark humor in it. And it just so happens to be in this kind of by the numbers superhero kind of rom movie. Now the problem that this film definitely faced was that its marketing was the exact opposite of what this movie was. Admittedly, I was actually kind of bought into the first two trailers, especially the teaser and the first trailer. They showed off that Venom was going to be this dark movie, this very edgy, kind of like a Spawn film almost. There was that line, the world already has enough superheroes, and that was a really cool idea. This doesn't really do that. If anything, the film was terribly marketed. It's much more of a comedy with action and horror moments in it. Like a B-class sort of film. And it follows that to a key because there's a lot of story and narrative choices that just make no fucking sense. Now there's a lot of rumors that go back and forth about what happened with this film. There was some reshoots from what I heard. Thankfully the editing and the pacing doesn't suffer. That's thankfully a good thing because usually when films are re-edited they're usually torn to shreds. The film's pacing is just because the story has bad pacing. And thankfully the editing isn't terrible. The editing is actually pretty decent in this film. But there's a lot of motivations for characters that just kind of come out of nowhere. For instance, the whole idea of what the symbiotes are is they're wanting to come to Earth to devour it. And Venom is one of these people. And then after hanging out with Eddie Brock for a few hours and then climbing a tower, he's all of a sudden like, yeah, you know, I don't want to destroy the human race anymore. What? What? Where did, where did this come from? This is something that clearly was not seen on camera, absolutely at all. The effects in this film are actually pretty good. I'll have to say I really enjoy the effects, especially the ending. The ending is really like a visual, like, whoa. However, the ending is so quick, it reminds me of the animated Spider-Man TV show, where this thing would go from 1 to 11 in the span of a second. And that's exactly what happens with this movie, and unfortunately that doesn't work. This is a 22 minute cartoon. You have a two hour long movie, you have the ability to pace this shit. And they don't do it that well. There's a lot of dragging here and there, and a lot of predictable actions, and then the film starts to ramp up. So overall, the film definitely has some issues. It has a lot of narrative and character choice problems. There's a lot of motivation in this film that doesn't really work, and unfortunately the film does have a really kind of cheesy edge to it. There's a lot of stuff you'll be laughing at because of how stupid it is, but there is some good banter. Venom is probably the best character in this film, and that's something that a lot of people don't know. Admittedly, I didn't really know much about the Venom character, so I looked into it, and the Venom character has been this kind of dark comedy character in times. He's not just this pure evil menace. So they did get that into the character a little bit. I'm interested to see what was missing because apparently there was a lot that was cut from this film including a bunch of Tom Hardy's favorite scenes which is unfortunate. Otherwise, Venom is a fun time. It's a bad fun time, but it is a fun time. 
The film has some deep, deep flaws, and unfortunately it's kind of up in the air now as whether the success of this film will garner into other things, because they actually do kind of set up something else. But again, it's just so badly set up. I'm gonna give Venom a 3 out of 7. Literally, I was about to give it a 2, but then I was like, okay, you know what, I enjoyed this movie more than Predator or Fallen Kingdom. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, that's all from me. See you guys next time.